Welcome back everybody, this is Liz Runa 300 speaking, I hope all of y'all enjoyed the previous video, I know I enjoyed making it for all of you, oh no, app update, oh well, um, in the previous video we're very close in going to Inazuma, and I very hope, I, I hope we can get to Inazuma this episode, because Inazuma is a place where what the heck is that? There we are, um, in the zoom is a place where I can upgrade my uh, characters even more. I need to upgrade my characters. This episode shouldn't be a laggy one. I say shouldn't because I don't know. Let me welcome the chat. Sorry about that. Hello and welcome. Make sure to read and follow uh, the rules. Yep. Hold up. Yeah. Uh oh mail. I have mail. Oh Is it her birthday today? Might be it's Valentine's Day after all. Oh, it is too. Wait a minute. That's what I got for Valentine's. No. Yes. Before anything, before absolutely anything can get done, we shall get like the food in here. Oh, what? Yeah. Sorry, I just had to do a you know, load of pin. Um, there we are. You. Okay. You. Okay, I don't like that. I shall not like that. Wait a minute. Make way for the adeptus. Yes, can you get me a thing of water? Can't hear any more as once in the gap. Oh no, although I might have broken my sign. No, I didn't. It's fine. Please. Kind of dodge that. Whoa. 
That's commission complete. That's done. Nice cold water. Hold up, hold up, hold up, hold up. Just one on the towel. No! There's one on the towel, so something must be done. Skyward! No. Come on. Shouldn't you be dead? <laughs> Wait, what? <laughs> Alright. Delayed death? I wonder what I am going to do here. Damn. Maybe she's failing me today. So, do it. Okay, what? Got him. So, I literally told my friend yesterday that, um, that this, uh, the chat was unnecessarily active during the stream, and now, now they're doing it again, and it's an actual troll this time, they're trolling me. 
like I like the effort, but still, come on. That's all. Wait. Butter. Flour. Nine flour. Sixty-six cheese. Lasagna. Oh, well, I guess I bought a present for beans. Beans. Close to getting that. Back up there. Gonna happen at one point, but I'm wondering who's gonna dox. Nah. Oh, he sits with his. Is that his daughter? Probably. <laughs> Who else would it be? Quests I can do. Add as Thank you for completing today's commissions. Nice. Add Astra Abyssosk. No. Add Astra Abyssosk. Yeah. Nope. I don't just let random people join. Let's not know this before. Oh, nice, I can get. Not that he's well as 50. That's not a lot, to be honest. Probably, probably. If you are presently unoccupied, perhaps we could. Oh, that's in storage. That is not... once abode for some repose and conversation. Mm. 
with the reputation things, all I'm gonna do is walk to the next one. Right, this shall be our first, uh, I think our first steps to go into any zone other than the beta car. Mm, let's go. Ad Astra Abyssosk. What can I do for you, traveler? Ah, yes. I've heard that you've already made arrangements with the captain of the Crux Fleet regarding your passage to Inazuma. Is that correct? Now that I think about it, it's been quite some time since I last visited those lands. Unfortunately, I don't have any current intel that would be worth sharing with you. There you are. You're the traveler that Beido will be taking to Inazuma, right? The fleet has nearly completed reprovisioning. Once the nice. crews have taken a headcount, we can get underway. Okay. Captain Beido sent me to come get you. We'll weigh anchor as soon as you're aboard. Seems Beido is the captain of of course! There are many things that the captain insists upon. I'm sure you'll see for yourself once you're on board. So you'll be heading off then? I suppose congratulations are in order. Whether the journey before you leads to the heights of the heavens, or the depths of the abyss, each step you take is another achievement. Until we meet again, Ad Astra Abyssosk. Oh, it's kinda hard to say goodbye now. We practically see each other every day. <laughs> well, if that's how you feel, why not come and find me when you arrive? I'll be awaiting you on Narukami Island. So there's another Catherine at Ninazuma? <laughs> <laughs> well, I guess it's time for you to bid farewell to Liyue Harbor. Now that I've delivered my message, I'll be heading back. The ship is currently anchored off of Guyan Stone Forest. Okay, thanks for coming all this way to let us know. Just following orders. I'll see you two aboard the Alcor. Well, pretty sure she's a robot, to be honest. I think she is. Bro, what? <laughs> I did not know you could do that. Uh... Oh, yes, that's good. I can teleport there now. Yeah. Oh, I think that was the guy there. I think that was the guy just there. Ah, you finally made it. It's not like you were waiting a couple of days. All these years come rain or storm, the Crux fleet has never suffered a delay. If it were anyone else, I might have set sail already. <laughs> Don't look too serious, I'm only joking. You're just on time. The crew have just finished making final preparations. <sighs> Well, now that everyone's here, we set sail for the land engulfed by storm and tempest. Yes. The nation of eternity. And I shall update my characters. <sighs> oh, we said it's a good one. <sighs> oh, yes. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I would 
seals forever to be on a ship like this too. Like, damn! After waving and raging thunderstorm, the Akol finally comes into port. Wait! We don't get cutscenes to go to Inazuma? Oi! Ooh, yes. Wonderful landscape. You finally made it. You sure kept me waiting, Captain. And it appears we have a couple of stowaways. Or perhaps I should say, honored guests. <laughs> Shush! You can blame your almighty Shogun. The tempests around Inazuma have been growing all the more fierce lately. Though the fleet was fully up to the challenge, the inclement weather still caused some delay. Now then, let me introduce everyone. This is Toma, a trade partner that I've gotten to know recently. <laughs> you don't know how long I've been waiting to see you. Toma, Whoa. these two are... Oh, no need for introductions. Their reputation precedes them. It seems even the stormy seas can't keep rumors of these outlanders' sterling deeds at bay. <laughs> oh, it's sure nice to hear you say that. <laughs> With any luck, it'll give you a head start here. Toma's resided on Rito for quite some time now. It wouldn't be going too far to say he's the fixer around these parts. If you run into any problems here, just talk to Toma. But if he tries to pull any moves on you, I'll be sure to deal with him personally the next time I'm around. <laughs> no need to worry. I'm sure we'll get along just fine. Good. Then if it's all settled, I'll be going. I wouldn't want to be caught with my sails down here. I do have a wanted fugitive on board, after all. Oh, right. <laughs> Kazuha. Until next time, traveler. Remember to give it your all, no matter what perilous storms you may encounter. Fair seas, Captain Beto. Bye bye. Bye bye. Now then, first things first. We need to go get you registered at the border checkpoint. Um, Paimon thought we were supposed to be keeping things on the down low. Are we just gonna walk into the government's hands? <laughs> Don't underestimate the reaches of the Sokoku Decree. You wouldn't be able to avoid inspection even if you tried. So we have to play by the rules, even if we're kind of bending them. Oh, why is that close? Um, look at this, look at this landscape. Like, whoa. Okay, so first things first. I'm in Inazuma. What do you need to upgrade your character? Got by Spectre? I can just exchange a bunch of them. Probably just do four for now as well. Found in Shushu. I don't know if this one is Shushu. Pretty sure the waters are electrified. For the Adeptus. Annoying, eh? <laughs> A 
of what? I need to get to that statue. And there's a waypoint, yeah. Totally supposed to be here right now. Totally. Yeah. Got him. Get to this statue of the seven. Ooh, this one looks fancy. The world opens itself. Before those with noble hearts. You know, zoom up. Now it's not occurring the island. I do want to do this like mission based, but I'm gonna discover all of Inazuma. I want to upgrade my characters before anything. Let's try and re do the resume. What abilities do I have? I don't think they're gonna be able to this. Well, I'm gonna real quick go to the my search of the seven. Real quick. They're probably not good abilities because I haven't really done anything. Twenty thousand. <laughs> Resonate. Freedom. We shall take that like boat thing and go all the way around. We're going to every single island, discovering the waypoints. Let's hope it doesn't break the story, eh? Because all I want to do is like explore. Yeah. Skyward. Traveling tournament. That's a bunch of bullcrap. So I can't. Uh, I want to get my stuff. Peace. I'm gonna break this character. See, breaking free. I, can't, I don't think I can travel all the way around there. Oh well. We're in an Azuma now, we just have to get our permanent and everything. State your name, identity, and the purpose of your visit. Oh, except you, Toma. You must be new here. Uh -huh. Excuse me? Please provide the information requested and also declare any goods you are carrying with you. 
Currently, only members of the International Trade Association are authorized to engage in the import and export of goods. Do you have your trader's permits? Um... My apologies, but I'll have to ask you to... Here are their entry papers, for your kind perusal. What? Ugh, take your time, no rush or anything! <laughs> I just wanted to see what you'd say. Sorry about that. I see. Okay, your papers are all in order. Welcome to retail. <sighs> so, where do we go next? The Outlander Affairs Agency. Uh, they only check entry permits here. If you want to remain on Rito, there's a process you have to go through with them. Sheesh. So it is super strict, just like everyone says. Well, let's not forget that to everyday folk in Inazuma, people from everywhere else are referred to as outsiders. As the word suggests, outlanders aren't very welcome in Inazuma with the Sokoku decree in force. Not even on Rito, where they've established an outsider settlement. <laughs> I like how you think. I've got a feeling we're going to get along very well. Got plenty of moves on me. Now, man. let's head over to the Outlander Affairs Agency. Most of the current rules were put in place by the administration of Rito, the Kanjo Commission. The Kanjo Commission? Yes, one branch of the Tri Commission of Inazuma, responsible for growing and managing the nation's wealth. Um. You really haven't heard of it before? <sighs> You've completed the entry procedures, yes? And now you want to apply for residency, both of you? Okay, the processing fee will be two million mora. Two million? For a processing fee? Are you serious? That's right. One million per applicant, which makes two million total. Don't worry. You can trust my math. Paimon wasn't so much questioning your math as... <laughs> Ma'am, these two here are good friends of mine. I think you'll find I'm one face you recognize. Ah, Mr. Toma, it's you. By way of courtesy, allow me to reduce it to... 400,000 mora total. <laughs> Thank you ever so much, Miss Eureka. But as this is just a processing fee, I think 600 mora should cover it if I'm paying on their behalf. I'll treat you to dinner too. How does that sound? All right, then. As you wish, Mr. Toma. I will make a record. <laughs> Much obliged. Wait, 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 what? Hold up. What? She went from two million down to six hundred? There's something seriously wrong with people's sense of finance around here! <laughs> it's not as mind-boggling as you think. A processing fee is just a figure of speech. The way some here at the agency see it, the fees are easy money. So it becomes a question of how much they can make. So when the day comes that some poor merchant from overseas with more money than cents gets stuck here and needs to apply for residency... Then they'll milk them for all their worth! <laughs> exactly. It's at times like this that having a local friend really comes in handy. Yes, but when you're an outlander in Inazuma, far from home in this close nation era, there's very little that can be done about it. The most that overseas merchants can do to look after themselves is stick together. That's how the International Trade Association came about. So it's a trade association built by and for outlanders? Yep. And as well as advancing commercial interests, the association provides help, support, and structure for outlanders trying to survive on Rito. Essentially, it's an association devoted to both commercial excellence and survival skills. <sighs> Sounds like 
good. Just staying alive is an achievement when you're an outlander in Inazuma. I see. So this is the real purpose of your trip. Yes, given that you are outlanders, it's certainly a lofty aspiration. After all, the Raiden Shogun is the most exalted and revered one in all of Inazuma. She is a deity who reigns on high, while all other life gazes up in awe. Hey, well done. Huh. I was going to say nothing is set in stone when it comes to who you will encounter in this world. Who's to say you won't happen to run into the Raiden Shogun one day after lunch? Where? Uh-huh. And is that likely? Okay, I'll give it to you straight. I know of a way to introduce you to the Raiden Shogun. Really? Wow, the Rito Fixer is better connected than we thought. <laughs> I mean, it will take all the resources I have at my disposal, but it could be done. However, before we get there, connections come at a high price, you understand? Ugh, not you too! <laughs> no, no. In this instance, when I say price, I'm not talking about Mora. In fact, there's no real cost as such. It's just that, if this is something you really want, you'll have to agree to help other people solve some of their problems first. I like to do things in a way that keeps everybody happy. It's my own personal rule for dealing with situations like this. Sounds very reasonable to Paimon. You're the man in the middle, so you have to trade favors to keep everyone indebted to you. <laughs> Why do I get the feeling you're making me out to be some sort of crook? Uh, never mind. I didn't click anything. Here's the situation. As I touched upon earlier, the members of the International Trade Association are constantly struggling to survive. Recently, things seem to have gotten more difficult than ever for them, so just go and check things out. See if there's any way you can help. The head of the association is called Carisio, and he's a good friend of mine. Go talk to him. I'll wait for you here. Yes. Huh? Hello there. You must be seeking refuge with the International Trade Association. The Outlander Affairs Agency took you for all your worth, I suppose. Ah, good. That's a relief. You need to be careful, or you'll find yourself losing your savings all at once. We heard the Association has been having some difficulties lately. Is that true? Yes. Left, right, and center. Obstacles at every turn. But that's nothing new for us. The Sakoku okay. Decree certainly makes things difficult for anyone who wants to come here from overseas. But it's not the root cause of our woes. The Sakoku Decree might restrict our scope of activity. But in and of itself, it doesn't stop us from being able to enjoy a comfortable existence. No. What's really squeezing us Outlander merchants dry is... those Mora Grubbers from the Kanjo Commission. Oh, of the three commissions, that's the one that oversees everything on retail, isn't it? I think so. That's right. <laughs> they impose astronomical tax rate, unbelievable regulations, and that's not the worst of it. They just issued a new tax decree recently that, for some reason, completely changes the way we pay our taxes. It used to be Mora, but now it's something called Crystal Marrow. Crystal Marrow? What's that? Uh, something that most of us in the association had never heard of before either, until the new decree came along. Eventually, one of the older Liyue merchants recalled that he once shipped a batch of it to Snezhnaya in his youth. So, in order to pay our taxes, we began an arduous search for this Crystal Marrow. But then we found we'd only managed to create a bigger problem for ourselves. The rising demand for Crystal Marrow drove the price higher and higher. <sighs> now there's only one vendor who even has it in stock. We can't get a hold of it anywhere else. Uh, isn't that what they call a monopoly? Exactly. So this vendor keeps pushing the price up, and we have no choice but to buy from them because the tax decree forces us to. 
It's a vicious cycle. The consequence of which is that our taxes will soon exceed our profits. And once that happens... <sighs> we've tried communicating with the Commission directly. But this is a nation where the cries of a few struggling merchants will never be heard over the ever-present roar of thunder. Ah, <sighs> Fontaine, my dear homeland. I miss you an awful lot at the moment. Sounds awful. They're really bleeding them dry. What do you think we should do? So they were hinting Fontaine all the way back here. And even he hasn't had any luck. Not to mention, we're outlanders too. That's about a beat. Why did Shogun's ass? Right. And besides, I think this may well be the fate they've ordained for us. Okay. Well, we could try tackling the problem by going to the other party involved. Uh, that vendor. I've actually done business with him in the past, but after a point, he stopped contacting us. I have no idea where he sources the stuff. Hmm. Well, it definitely sounds like he's being unfair. How do we find him? We could go talk to him and see if he lets anything slip. Yes. Hey, that's a pretty good idea. Since you're not affiliated with the association and you're new to Rito, he may just let his guard down. You may. If I remember correctly, our usual meeting point with him is under a tree by the coast in the residential district. See if you can find him there. Got it! We're on the case! Let's go. <laughs> Looks like I'm not. I'm unable to go to this island from now. What's this? <laughs> Set. Okay. <laughs> Give me free loot, eh? Worth it. Where can we find Crystal Marrick anyway? Huh? I don't think I recognize you. Are you new arrivals? So, what do you need with me? The sheer nerve. You don't go around asking questions like that. If I gave you my sources, I might as well hand you the whole darn business. Trade secret, got it? You know what trade and secret mean, right? This guy's got a bad attitude. Ha! <laughs> Are you even buying? Oh, I see what's going on here. Carisu and his associates sent you here to try and plead their case, didn't they? <laughs> They're wasting their time. The price is non-negotiable. Not by a single mora. Hey! What's your problem? Get out of here. Go on. Tell them they're lucky to be buying from me in the first place. And they ought to be more grateful. If it weren't for me, they'd be in seriously hot water. What are we gonna do? There's no talking to this guy. Was quick you resulted already um actually we're having a little trouble oh 
Well, by all means, tell me what you need. I'll help as much as I can. Getting you to go fixing things when you've only just arrived is quite a demand. Oh, that guy? I'm familiar. He used to be a bit of a sorry sight, selling shells that he collect on the beach just to get by. But he seems to have suddenly shot up in the world recently. I can only assume he must have found himself a patron after leaving the International Trade Association. Huh. You're saying he used to be a member of the International Trade Association? So he's an outlander too? Yes. Couldn't you tell when you spoke to him? That's right. Werner was born in Mondstadt, then went into the shipping business, trading between Leah and Inazuma. When Inazuma closed to the outside world, he was one of a group of outlanders that ended up stranded on Rito. Huh. What a bummer! The International Trade Association was initially very generous to him, but over time, with decree after decree, the association members found it increasingly difficult to make ends meet. So he left the association and turned his back on them. <laughs> I'm sure it's more nuanced than that. I believe even the most ungrateful and cold-hearted of people still have some amount of gratitude and warmth left in them somewhere. Really? Is that all you need to know? Well then, it sounds like you may have found a way in with him. Skyward! Got her! <laughs> What are you doing back here? Just because I got plenty of time on my hands doesn't mean I want to waste any of it talking to you. Huh? Where is this coming from? Mondstadt? You were talking about... M Mondstadt? I need some of your finest wine. Oh, I can get wine. <laughs> what does it make extremely compelling on the side? Skyward! Got him! Actually, give it facts. I don't even have to sign up. The side of one, you know, the one that restores health. Mm -hmm. I mean, I'm going to find something sure. Pretty sure. The wolf looks a little wet. The side of it worked better. I believe. Yeah. Skyward! Scatter! Monstad? You're. Why not give him the side out?
Goodness, I can sense it now. So familiar, but I can't remember the last time I was there. <sighs> the scent of Mondstadt. Oh, how it takes me back. Oh, my hometown. The home of freedom. How I long to go back and visit. Oh, it's working! <sighs> oh, oh. <clears throat> so, trying to play my heartstrings like a liar, are you? I know what you're up to. Huh? What is this? What are you up to now? Just close your eyes already! You mean... the sound of the ocean? <gasps> Leah Harbor! I can see it so clearly. Uh, oh, and the sound of the waves! The calls of the merchants! Xiao Lanterns! <laughs> I'm right there at the lantern right! Oh, look at them floating up into the sky. This guy has a really active imagination. Either that, or he really does miss Liyue Harbor. <sighs> Liyue. Liyue. Oh, laugh. I'm not giving him the other thing. Wait. Stop. That's enough. Don't make me relive it anymore. My poor heart can't take it. You mean, the folks from the International Trade Association? And I suppose they are far from home, just like me. Often, I'll sneak down to the shore at night and listen to the sound of the waves. I like to imagine it's the voice of my hometown, carried across the ocean. I've run into folks from the association more than a few times doing just that, but I always hide my face and slip away. <sighs> okay. Don't you think I've wanted to talk things through with them and free myself from this anguish? Um, well, no one's stopping you, so... <sighs> They're so resilient. None of them had anyone else to rely on, so they rallied together, committed to finding a way to survive. But I couldn't do it. I'm not strong enough. So I caved. Those people, they'd make the smallest of promises, offer the most measly benefits, and I'd do whatever they asked of me. And make Mondstatters look like the worst people in the world. All right, I'll tell you the whole story. It's eating me up inside, and I can't take it anymore. You ready to talk now? But I betrayed them. I, I can't show my face there. Uh, come on, you scaredy cat. Look, you messed up, but now it's time to make things right. So come on, get it off your chest. What's the deal here? It's a scheme by the tax collection Ashigaru, Keijiro and his companions. They start by overtaxing the merchants, then take the extra crystal marrow they receive and stockpile it. Once the merchants run out of places to buy crystal marrow, they get me to sell that extra stock back to the merchants at an extortionate price, with the proceeds going to the tax collection Ashigaru. It's just... it's plain evil gouging them like this. I'm their puppet, yes. But my cut is a tiny fraction of what we take in total. It's barely enough for me to live on. Evidence? Hmm. You're right. Without conclusive evidence, he will never admit it. Now that I think about it, whenever I report back to him after a sale, he always heads to the same place. It's always made me suspicious. As it happens, I handed some Mora over to him not long ago. I, I can show you where he went if you want. Really? Well, then there's no time to lose! Let's go! I want that crystal mallet. What did I change that? Keijiro! It's him! Ah, Ryoko, how's business? <laughs> All the better thanks to your generous patronage. 
Good. Thankfully, I earn plenty these days. Oh, but of course. Tax collection is difficult work. <sighs> Should I close early? It's not like I'll get any customers. Now, who else is behind on payments? Let me think. Yes, the trade association click still needs to be brought into line. Hmm. What was that sound? Shh! Quiet! Don't let him find us! Must be hearing things. Uh, drat, I'm behind schedule. I need to hurry. He's getting further and further away! Let's catch up a little! Huh? Where'd he go? He was right there a moment ago. Seems he disappeared in a blink of an eye. We made less noise. Ryoko, how's business? All the better, thanks to your generous patronage. Good. Thankfully, I earn plenty these days. Oh, but of course. Tax collection is difficult work. Now, who else is behind on payments? Let me think. What was that sound? Huh? Where'd he go? He was right there a moment ago. Seems he disappeared in a blink of an eye. If only we'd made less noise. I didn't make any noise. It's not like I'll get any. Kajiro. After him. Too close. That's too close. He'll notice us for sure. Ah, Ryoko, how's business? All the better, thanks to your generous patronage. Good. Thankfully, I earn plenty these days. Oh, but of course, tax collection is difficult work. Now, who else is behind on payments? Let me think. Yes, the trade association click still needs to be brought into line. Hmm. What was that sound? Shh! Quiet! Don't let him find us! Must be hearing things. Ah, drat, I'm behind schedule. I need to hurry. What could he be doing at a place like this? It looked like he buried something over there, didn't it? Why don't we take a look?
let me take a look here. Aha, yes! This is what we're looking for. A clear and complete record of every single transaction, each one proof of his guilt. Great! Well, now we have our hard evidence. Let's go tell Carissa the good news, shall we? Uh, um, I'll... I'll say goodbye to you here, then. Huh? You aren't gonna come with us? I... I need a little more time before I'm ready to face the head of the association. I'm sorry. Huh. Poor Werner is a pretty awkward guy, huh? What's that guy? No, no, no. I'm not trying to exit. There's something right there. See? Oh wait, no, that's not all we need. I thought that was the flowers. Yeah, skyward. But we really don't have anything left. If this keeps up, our sales will come in at a loss. There'll be nothing left for us to do but starve. You know the decree. The rules are the rules. No discounts, no exceptions, and no excuses. Hmm? And who are you? Another new member of the association? It just so happens that we found your little ledger. So now we're here to tell everyone all about how you embezzled Crystal Marrow to sell it right back to the taxpayers. Huh? Is this true? You've been swindling us. Well, uh, you, you, you see, the, the ta taxes, uh... Let me take a look at the ledger. Well, would you look at that? Every payment the association has made is right here in your personal ledger. So, Mr. Keijiro, it seems you have some explaining to do. How shall we settle this, hmm? <laughs> So you think you can use this against me, do you? It's quite obvious that I'm merely trying to earn a modest living for myself, like anyone else. Word has it that Samurai and the Commission place great importance on reputation and prestige. Though I'm sure Commission members won't blame you once word gets out. Huh? Is that a threat? Are you threatening me? No, not at all. I'm simply stating that it would be quite a pity if an illustrious gentleman such as yourself were to have their reputation tarnished. Uh, well, even if what you say is true, what do you suggest we do about it? I believe you still have a quantity of crystal marrow in your possession, correct? Perhaps that crystal marrow could be used as compensation for the recent tax hike, and us merchants could finally have some more breathing room. Is that it? <sighs> Do you have any idea the hoops I had to jump through to get the crystal marrow and keep it hidden? Ah, uh, fine. In that case, I'll send it over to you today. And not even an ounce of shame for his action. So that's it? My shop's been closed for weeks now. I've even had to ask my friends to help bail me out. What about my losses? Come on, Harrison. We've already struck a good deal here. I'm sick of being pushed around like this. I won't let him off so easily. Harrison. Hey, what's all this racket? Does someone dare question the decree? Ah, Chief. You've arrived. What was all the commotion I heard just now? Oh, we were just discussing a minor tax issue. I do my utmost to lend them a helping hand, but they're never grateful. A helping hand? The only thing- Oh, and you dare to utter the Commissioner's name. You outlanders have no respect for the rules. Seize the merchants. We will resolve this dispute back at headquarters. Uh-oh. This is going in a bad direction. Gentlemen, gentlemen, come now. Is there any need for this? If there's a dispute to resolve, let's get a drink and talk it over. Who are you supposed to be? And why in my right mind would I join you for a drink? <laughs> you never heard of the Fixer? Here's my card. Huh. You're from the Yashiro Commission. Shh. Huh. Well, this is Kanjo Commission territory. However powerful the Yashiro Commission may be, you have no business meddling in Rito's affairs. 
<laughs> of course not, of course not. Still, perhaps you could show the young lady. What's this? Any of our clan some courtesy. You wouldn't want your name showing up in a petition to the Shogun, would you? That fan. The Shirasagi Himegimi. I don't need any trouble with her. <sighs> okay, let's forget all this. It'll give us one less thing to worry about. But, Chief! Enough! We're leaving! Let's get dinner one day soon, gentlemen. My treat, I insist. <sighs> no response, huh? I suppose that bridge is well and truly burned, then. Thank you so much, Toma. But I'm sorry your relationship with the Kanjo Commission had to suffer for our sake. <laughs> hey, hey, I was joking. It's a small price to pay, and you're more than welcome. If there's anyone you should be thanking, it's the Traveler. She's the one who found a way to turn things around. <sighs> if nothing else, I'm sure the tax collection Ashigaru will tread a little more carefully in the future. Shh, shh, not here. Too many people listening. <laughs> Let's move somewhere else. Okay. There's more people listening here. Corruption seems rife in the Kanjo Commission. They truly are rotten to the core. <sighs> All right, it's time for me to answer your questions. What would you like to know? <laughs> Straight to the point. Let me reintroduce myself. I belong to the Kamisato clan of the Yashiro Commission on Narukami Island. I'm an attendant of the Shirasagi Himegimi. Uh, you've been keeping your true identity a secret from us this whole time? So, the Yashiro Commission. Guessing that's another branch of the Tri Commission? Correct. The Kamisato clan is the head of the Yashiro Commission, who manage ceremonial and cultural affairs. I'd go into more detail on what exactly that cover- I'm just someone who was fortunate enough to be taken in by the Kamisato clan. My role is to take care of the daughter of the clan, Kamisato Ayaka, oh, also known her. as the Shirasagi Himigimi. I know her. Seems like she must be super she's famous like, in Inazuma, she's given like the, powerful the reaction of those guys just now. The powerful <laughs> oh, most definitely. She's graceful, dignified, and kind-hearted, too. The people of Inazuma quite adore Miss Kamisato. Her fame even somewhat eclipses that of her older brother, Kamisato Ayato, despite the fact that he's the current head of the clan. I suppose those who treat others with compassion earn themselves the same treatment in return. Miss Kamisato's situation certainly seems to attest to that. Take me, for example. I'm just an attendant, and yet she treats me as an equal, as she would a friend. You're asking the right questions. And, to be honest, I don't want to keep you in the dark any more than is necessary. Firstly, you should know that being a fixer is not something you can fake. I spent the better part of a month tirelessly building up a network of relationships on the island. Oh. And I got to know Captain Beto during that time, too. Still pretty good going for just a month's work. <laughs> Well, maybe I have a slight knack for schmoozery, but the main thing was I had to make sure I'd be in time to receive you when you arrived. Inazuma may have closed off to the outside world, but that hasn't stopped a lot of people from hearing about your feats in Monsta and Liyue. So, when Miss Kamisato heard of your intention to come to Inazuma, she began looking forward to your arrival with great anticipation. She's excited to find out whether the rumors are true. That is, that you have what it takes to change the tide of the times. Change the tide of the times? In the test I gave you earlier, although there were a few hiccups at the end, it was you who found the way to turn the situation around. Navigating powerful people, using their character flaws to your advantage, it's just what Miss Kamisato had hoped to see. With your help, even the Vision Hunt Decree... Ah. Uh, hmm. That's an unexpected development. Perhaps our sources were misleading. No, 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 no. They certainly were not misleading. Well, why is this 
Why am yes, I being mean? Of course. I completely understand and as agreed, I shall help set that up for you. Huh. Thomas sure didn't put up much of a fight. <laughs> well, my work on Rito is done. So I suppose this is goodbye for now. Oh, uh, one more thing. This invitation letter is for you. When you get to Narukami Island, you can find me at the Komori Tea House, as per the letter. Good luck with everything. See you soon. Ooh. Oh, this ice cream brings back memories. Thomas, not such a bad guy, huh? <sighs> we should get going. Huh? What's up? Oh, right! Paimon forgot all about that! Wait, so... Did Toma forget that too? Oh, darn it! No wonder he was so matter-of-fact about the whole thing! <laughs> as soon as we get off Ritu, Paimon's going straight to Kamori Tea House to settle the score! <sighs> well, guess we should give it a try! Let's head to the border and see how far we get. Yeah, we can't leave this place. Well, not yet, at least. <laughs> Stop there. Present your travel permits. Sorry, but we really gotta get to Narukami Island. It's kinda urgent. If you don't have a travel permit, this is as far as you'll get. Those are the rules. <sighs> as expected. Traveler, you gotta think of something. How do we get out of Rito? Are you saying we should go and meet with the Kanjo Commissioner? Guess it can't hurt to try. Even if Paimon has a few choice words to say about his subordinates, who knows? Maybe he's our biggest fan. <laughs> I don't think so. I just got a feeling that he does. Ah. Okay. One hand arm. Halt! This is the Kanjo Commissioner's office. No trespassers. We are here to see, uh, you know, uh, the Kanjo Commissioner? The Kanjo Commissioner seldom entertains outlanders. Leave now or we'll be forced to. Ah, wait, wait, wait. Oh, Commissioner! These two are honored guests from afar. No need to give them the usual spiel. Hmm, come on in. Let's see what we can do for you. Did you get all that, mister? M my, my sincere apologies. It's a thing right at Baltimore. I am Hiragi Shinsuke, Kanjo Commissioner and Head of the Hiragi Clan. It's an honor to meet you both. All right, all in good time. Two travelers renowned far and wide have shown up to see me, and I should very much like to make their acquaintance. Let's not limit this to business only. <laughs> so what you're saying is we really are pretty famous, huh? Absolutely. How many other people in the world have what it takes to knock the wind out of Storm Terror's sails and put the Overlord of the Vortex back under the sea, eh? And I hear you also foiled a Fatui plot in Liyue Harbor. Even beat one of their harbingers in a duel. Whoa, you heard about that too? Uh, yep, it's true, all right. Hmm, as I thought. Something wrong? 
<laughs> no, no, no. I'm simply awestruck by you both is all. Rito is greatly honored to have you visit us. One other thing I heard about you is your great zeal for helping other people. Hmm. This makes me wonder whether you might be so kind as to render your assistance to the Condro Commission. Oh, sure. No problem. Whatever you need, right? Excellent. Well, then, you must know the Qingxin. A flower grows on the mountaintops of Liue. Yep, we've picked a few of those before. So, uh, you want us to go back? Yes, bring me 300 Shinxin, would you? Freshly picked, I mean. Uh, did Paimon hear that wrong? Hmm? Too much trouble, is it? Hmm, I see. Imagine then I how about this? Me. We have a few items that need delivering. Perhaps you can help with that? Sounds much more like it. 709 letters, to be precise. Hey, what gives? How come you don't have people to do that already? Terribly sorry. We're just a little short on people lately. What sort of an explanation is that? Traveler, what are we going to do? Should we really help this guy? That's the spirit. Don't keep me waiting too long now. Are you seriously considering taking this job? The terms are ridiculous! Halt, you two! Miss Hiragi has a letter for you. She insists that you read it immediately. A letter? Quick! Let Paimon see! So this means she Hi. wants you to secretly meet her at night? But you didn't seem surprised at all by this. What's going on? Huh? Yeah, skyward, scatter. Ah, you finally arrived. Allow me to introduce myself. I am Hiragi Chisato. This is, technically, the second time we have met. It's a pleasure to see you again. Wow. She's the daughter of the Hiragi clan, all right. No need to be so formal. I've long marveled at your accomplishments. And at last, we have the chance to meet. Is that Paimon, or does something seem a bit off here? The reason why I wanted to secretly meet you here is... Well... I feared that I might never have another opportunity to discuss this with you. Discuss what? Ahem. I should like to ask for your help with delivering a letter. Oh, baby. <laughs> uh, like father, like daughter. Couldn't you be more original? No, you misunderstand me. Please, allow me to explain. I was hoping that you could deliver a letter to Narukami Island in my stead. It is to be given to Kujo Kamaji of the Tenryo Commission. My father has always forbidden me from communicating with him. He knows that there are prospects for my marriage that would better serve him politically. But my heart is with Kamaji. 
There is no one who would dare defy my father's will on Rito, but you are outlanders. Outlanders seeking to get to Narukami Island. It would be regrettable to let such an opportunity pass. Oh, Paimon gets the whole picture now. Of course, in doing so, I will also do everything in my power to help you leave Rito. That is my promise. To be perfectly honest, as long as you remain in Inazuma, my father will have no intention of letting you leave Rito. Yeah, we figured as much. It was pretty obvious he was just trying to hold us up here. I secretly overheard a conversation between my father and a very arrogant-sounding woman just a few days ago. They seemed to be discussing how to keep you here on Rito. In fact, it was the first time I had ever heard my father speak so respectfully to someone who wasn't the Shogun. We don't have much time. I'll tell you my plans to help you off the island. It just so happens that a shipment of goods is... Very well. I'll be waiting for you at the border. I'm counting on you to deliver my letter. Yeah. Skyward! Hold on, please. These goods are being sent to... Watatsumi Island? My lady, this is an unexpected honor. Uh, you are correct. These goods have been repeatedly requested by the Kanjo Commissioner. We must be certain that they reach Watatsumi Island intact. Is there something wrong, Lady Hiragi? No, as you were. My father simply has some concerns of the shipment's safety, and has ordered that myself and an additional qualified escort be dispatched to ensure safe transport of the goods. My lady, you aren't suggesting that you intend to escort this shipment personally, are you? There's certainly no need for you to trouble yourself with such a matter. And as for this qualified escort... Please, do not cause us any further delay. If memory serves me right, my father has already asserted that this shipment must arrive on time. I'm certain punishment will be duly dispensed if it fails to do so. Yes, of course, my lady. It, it's just that, well, we don't know who this... Now, need I remind you of the penalty if anything were to happen to me en route? I'm sure you are all quite familiar with my father's temperament. Do you really presume that you can fully guarantee my safety on your own? Boy, Chisato yeah. can talk the talk. They don't stand a chance. Uh, uh yes, my lady. Very well, then. It, it's an honor to have you accompanying us. Your safety is our highest priority. Shinojo! You can't really be agreeing to this. Well, the request is from Lady Hiragi herself. It is our duty to serve her in the utmost capacity. Yes, but that's not the problem here. Well then, if we're through here, I suggest we set off at once. Dawdling will only allow potential thieves more time to prepare, no? Yes, my lady. You heard her. There's no time to lose. Sorry about that. Just enjoying an ice cream. My lady, please stay back. We'll handle it. Not as well as we'll handle it. <laughs> Skyward! 
comes the hunted. We can take refuge in the village up ahead. How are you faring, my lady? I'm perfectly all right. You may stop here. The road to Narukami Island is just over there. In my letter, I've requested Kamaji to grant you a special... Tr my lady. Huh. So that's how it is. I, I had a feeling something was amiss, but Shinojo, you... No, Lady Hiragi would never hide anything from us, I'm sure of it. But who is this Kamaji you speak of, my I'm not afraid to say that he's the one I love. The one you love? Shinojo, did you honestly think that... What? No, I, uh, <clears throat> I was just clarifying, that's all. I, I would never in my wildest dreams... Uh... You two needn't worry. Please, forget that this ever happened. If my father catches word of it, I alone will be held accountable. Yes, of course. As you wish, my lady. But what will happen if your actions here are discovered, Chisa? Don't fret. My father has always been one to spoil me. The worst he'd do is sentence me to half a day without food or something to that effect. Huh. Paimon never suspected a guy like him could have a soft side. I wish you a safe journey. I'm sure we will meet again. Bye, Chisato! Come now. Quit your staring and let's get moving. We've got goods to shift. Uh, all right. <laughs> right. Okay. Obviously, the, that man liked them. Sacred. What do you mean, the sigils? Whoa! I Did... suppose it's time we find Toma. Now, where did he say he would meet us again? Oh, right! Kamori Tea House! I was only joking. It's only just usually that's what it does. Oh, tricking news. What is that? What is this tree? This is to give the thing, right? Have we here? This, uh... Present them for one's perusal. Skyward! 
sure. Perhaps one should invent some form of curio discernment mechanism. There's something going on here. Yeah. Skyward! Scatter! Oh, cool. This stuff looks dope. Do that, eh? Huh. I already know when I want to build it, so that didn't give me a time. The domain here, so oh, hold up, hold up, hold up. I'm currently doing like a mini quest. Uh, how the f do I get up there? Oh, well, I don't know how to get up there. How many of these domains are useful? Like, for totally, like, stop. Oh, that probably. Okay. So go. Oh, what happened over here? Probably something that happened with Raiden. Oh! Wow. Okay. Uh... Don't want to get on whoever did that. That's bad sign. So many things to investigate. Seeing crystal water slowly getting faster. Ah, oh, what I want.
is kind of useful. These could be salvaged for parts. I just want a flower, leave me alone. Uh, Wait, can uh, I now upgrade my character? Oh, that is the flower! Yes! If you have oh, yes! What in the living heck is this wooden serpent? I don't care, I wanna upgrade this character. 9, 7, 12. And finally, more healing. Um, I need a lot more of this flower. Shouldn't be hard to find. I say shouldn't, but it probably is going to unnecessarily be hard to find. Let's get down to this one. Yeah, skyward. Be salvaged for parts. Yeah, skyward. <sighs> yes. Yes, but I don't really have anything that does damage to Pyro. Pyro is like my strongest ability. Uh, it gives me Berserker. And that's been what I've been really wanting. Yes. I really want some berserker and like the flower. You know which one I'm talking about. It would be more efficient to go that way. Skyward! 
Running by into a freaking enemy settlement, why not? What is the matter? Better berserker things are oh, Hold up, hold up, hold up. Give me any good tip. Okay, so because it's pyro, I should probably wait a minute. I should probably get my trouble. The secrets of the water. mechanical arts are too profound to convey in a few simple words. Oh, keep oh, but see. why must the listener grow weary? Oh, I like the color that thing. This guy's voice too. Let's hope this guy's power. No one can do the sword. Tyler was in the South Official Sword. I remember someone saying, Oh, I got the one that I do is really shown begin to divulge. Oh, God. Water Traveler. Need a water travel. Oh, you know, I put you on top of this. No, I pushed it. Get your blessing. No, I'll resonate. Well, I'll have to. The legit point of having a pyro on this thing. I need to change him out. I guess I have to look good for him. So many of them. I'll just keep him on my team. And if I do fail, I'll just change it to Lisa, I guess. Put his artifacts on here. 
why I have food.
Strike cloud converge. Useless to do that now. Uh -huh. I'm trying to. What? I can't do that. I just can't. Will it like not let me like freaking? Why won't it just let me? Figure that out. Whatever regenerates me will me. stop it. Okay, then knew that was coming. Uh, what regenerates it? It's okay, it's okay, they're gonna stop. And I failed. I failed that.
Killing this thing now. Yes. Shall be dead. Did I get what I needed? Is the question. <laughs> no. Although I did get this. Really good. Prayers of elimination. I really wanted those things for that. This would be this. Defense? I was going right into doing this. Where are you? Go away. Pretty right, it's good. And then all of these. Defense. That's another level. Excuse me, what did I? I think I did something. Nope. I think I was supposed to pick the flowers in there. Although I think what I'm supposed to actually do is find something on top of here. Doesn't appear again. What's the point in that guy? Yeah. Well, let's go back to the main storyline just, just because we have to. I mean, I want to upgrade my character, but yeah, it's just. to do so much electric stuff. Yeah. <laughs> 
Sorry, pal. Yeah. Oh, this viewpoint. Oh, this is gonna look majestic if I think it. It's either gonna be a that or the vast view. Or that. Or extra. In a Zoomian city. Ventures Guild. They give milk to and wheat. Yep. Best believe I'll be coming here every single day. Now there must be somewhere where need to go to a cooking station. Yeah. And if I was to put I can put 99 and I would have basically none left over. Where's the first video? Hmm. We need to get that more soon. Rebooting. What? What did you say? Why do you just work make the same mistakes over and over again? Oh, restaurant? That place isn't even. Uh, okay. If I was. Oh, hell no. I can do it later. Or when I get to the island. No dialogue? Astra yeah. and the Sask. Okay. I got money for that. I 
to the tea house. According to the letter, this should be the place. Sorry, we don't serve the general public. I'm afraid you'll have to leave. Wait! We're not the general public. Well then, you must be a couple of wandering outlanders that snuck into the nation, judging by your attire. <gasps> Are our clothes really so... Uh, oh, uh, what, Paima? Hmm. The Yashiro Commission seal. This must be from Mr. Toma. It seems there's more to you than meets the eye. In which case, welcome to the Komore Tea House, a safe haven for the Yashiro Commission. Well, that sounds more like it. <laughs> that guy was some guy was listening in. Ramsey. Yeah. I'm gonna just enter the tea house by climbing it. Why not? But I can't believe we've gotten to Inazuma. We have access to the entire map at our hands disposal if we want to now. Let's see. It's... Well, now that we're here, where's Toma? Oh, Hyman doesn't see him anywhere. Do you think he forgot his promise to meet us? Who forgot their promise? I was beginning to think you'd forgotten about me. Uh, Toma? <laughs> Is that dog talking to us? <laughs> Relax. No need to look so surprised. I take it this is the first time you've seen me in this form? Huh. So you didn't see anything like this when you were in Leo Harbor? Nope. Ah, now that you mention it, this does oh, suddenly yeah, seem now. less out of the ordinary. <laughs> all right, all right. I've had my fun. <laughs> hey, you're this close to getting an ugly nickname, mister. <laughs> well, I've had some time to kill, given that I've been waiting here for you for so long, as was the case in Rito. So I came up with this little fun greeting for when you arrived. But in all seriousness, I would like to apologize about that little test you went through earlier. Though, it was quite necessary. It helped us determine whether or not to bring you before Miss Kamisato, and whether you had the courage to face the lightning alongside us. Hmm. Don't think mm. that Paimon's gonna forgive you just because you're getting all serious now. Oh, this one's spicy. <laughs> oh, whoa, Sorry, whoa. did I overdo it? My apologies. Did you add spice to this? You must have added the spicy spice. Let me just say this. You've often found yourself skirting the rules from the very beginning, haven't you? Naturally, this is due to your unwavering and resolute determination. Mm -hmm. A long time ago, we had a friend who was much the same. But when the lightning struck... Ah, so you've heard of his story. Hmm. His light still burns all the more brightly. Yes, of course. I will bring you to the Kamisato residence where the Yashiro Commission is located. But before that, there is one other place I was hoping you both would accompany me to. Oh? Where? I would like you to come with me to the statue of the Omnipresent God. It's still under construction now, but you can already see it from practically anywhere on Narukami Island. Damn, he really added the spice. Oh, I see it. Yeah, skyward. And now I don't. Yeah. Oh, he did. Oh, that's yeah. not. So this really, really spicy spice that my my mom likes to make. Yeah, skyward. Damn. Got her. Her Spanish spice is woo, very spicy. Yeah. And get my big brother, and I can try to learn to make this it. This area sure feels gloomy. Uh, people probably don't come here often, do they? Huh? Are Paimon's eyes playing tricks? Or are there things embedded in the statue? Visions. Visions? Uh, you mean all the visions? 
visions that are collected from the Vision Hunt Decree are put into the statue? So you've already heard of the Vision Hunt Decree. Yes, I... Before I try to explain, I should perhaps remind you first that Mondstadt is the City of Freedom, and Leo is the City of Contracts. Yes. As for Inazuma, it's known as the Nation of Eternity. The Raiden Shogun is both the nation's most powerful ruler and its deity. The Eternity in question is her endless and unchanging will to rule over Inazuma. As oh, such, look, she relies on the Tri Commission to regulate the nation's affairs and the Sokoku Decree to limit the people's movement. The Shogun wishes to keep Inazuma in stasis, allowing the stream of time to flow from one end to the other without disturbing it for all time. Whoa. Seems like every god has their own will. Of course, this is my own limited understanding. As for the reason behind the recent Vision Hunt Decree, Perhaps the Shogun believes that visions grant people the power to change, and that her eternity doesn't allow for such instability to exist. Whatever the case, the fact is that the Raiden Shogun has dispatched the Tenryo Commission to scour the nation for visions, embedding each one in this statue. And this statue of the omnipresent god can be seen as Inazuma's symbol of eternity. Look, it was hinting with a dendro. Wait. They're too different. Oh yeah, ice and water. But if that's the case, wouldn't you say that the Raiden Shogun is being, oh, I don't know, selfish? <laughs> <laughs> Only outlanders such as yourselves would ever dare speak out so directly against the Raiden Shogun. And yet, I agree. The Vision Hunt Decree is something that simply should not exist. And Miss Kamisato has been committed to fighting it since the day it was announced. Whoa, 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 whoa! What's happening? Huh? Hey, are you okay? You look like your mind is elsewhere. Whoa! Sound? What sound? I didn't hear anything. Did something happen? Yeah, you touched the statue, and then, and then what? Aspirations. Hmm. That would seem to confirm the saying. Have you heard it before? That when a person's ambition reaches a certain strength, the gods look upon them with favor. That is where visions come from. In other words, a person's vision represents their ambition. So if what you've just said is true, then the ambitions of these people are stronger than I imagined. All right. Time for the next stop on our tour of Narukami Island, the Kamisato residence. <sighs> Finally! Um, that's what I said. Peace prevails throughout the land, and all things are made new, as what? buds in the spring. Yeah. 
excuse me no se va a cambiar eso Definitely. Them up there, I need one of the keys. Um, Tricking it. Okay. So, this is the kind of place where the big shots of Inazuma live, huh? Hmm. Paimon kind of expected it to be snazzier. Welcome at last to the Kamisato residence, honored guests. Miss Kamisato is delighted to finally meet you. Is this the Shirasage Himigimi you keep going on about? So, uh, where is she at? <clears throat> oh, uh, behind. 
behind the screen? Yes. <laughs> As the daughter of the Yashiro Commission, this is how Miss Kamisato is accustomed to receiving guests. Consider it a time-honored tradition within the Yashiro Commission. Forgive me if this is an unwelcome surprise. Uh, makes sense. She's a super important person after all. Please forgive my lack of courtesy for receiving you in this fashion. Especially following such a long and wearisome journey over the sea. I have awaited your arrival with great anticipation. And Toma assures me that you do indeed possess the power to change the tide of the times. At present in Inazuma, in the name of the Vision Hunt Decree, the people's aspirations are being senselessly trampled underfoot. Though the Yashiro Commission serves the Shogun, it is the people with whom we share close bonds, given the contact we are required to have with them in the performance of our duties. A Commission's power rises and falls with the trust of their people. Thus, we cannot remain indifferent to this situation without also remaining indifferent to our own fate. Traveler, lend us your power and we can... Oh... Ah, <sighs> see, milady, it's just like I said. This will take us nowhere. Huh. Why? Am I being so rude? Like, I don't want these options. No, please! Wait! Please, don't go! <sighs> I will introduce you to the Raiden Shogun, on one condition. You must fulfill three small wishes on my behalf. What are your wishes? They pertain to three whose visions were taken from them. Perhaps once you've met them, you will understand. A warrior who guards a village, a former samurai who helped carry out the Vision Hunt Decree, and a swordmaster determined to become the best in the world. Does Paimon get that right? Mm. Zoro? Why are you here? Correct. Please do all you can to help them. I will await your return here. <laughs> then you have my gratitude. Hi, uh, Jen. Uh, brain compute. Brain, let me compute. Ah, uh, brain. I'm trying to nag my brain on the name. Howichi. It's been a while. Yes. Hello, Howichi. But I, I remember it still. Uh, yeah, I think that's how you say it, right? Aichi? <laughs> You're back. It's been a bit boring without you. Yay! Hmm. We made it to <laughs> Inazuma. Sure you'll do great. Did someone break the rules? Uh... Not particularly in this stream, but someone last stream... Yeah, Ben, now. Someone last stream spammed a, spammed a bunch of links. Like, like, 30 of them, continuously. And I was like, nope, nope. Ban them, and now I have that message uh, just around here, I think it is, pinned. So, yeah. No, it should be fine. As you can see, we've made it to Inazuma! Hmm. Uh, what's the thing? I know bots don't care about pinned messages, but <laughs> I it gave me a sense of security, okay? But we've made it to Inazuma. We've discovered a little bit of Inazuma and we have upgraded our character. Forte. Congrats. Yes. Why is the delay so much? 
Like, as why? No. I, I know how to access the chasm. I can already do it. What I mean by I can already do it is literally just one final quest. There's a quest like here. One more quest I need to do, and then I can go and move the chasm. Wait a minute. I think I actually have the quest for the chasm. Go to the lower levels of the chasm. I actually shall do this one. I don't want to forget about it. Uh, yeah, enter the mines of the chasm. I can do that literally right now. Now that you have destroyed the bedrock keys, the seal on, on the chasm has n now come undone. In it's time to venture into the depths below. Hmm. I shall do this mission here because I can. <laughs> But I have made it in the zoom. I know I already know the attack patterns of the server. Skyward. Oh, also. I know you weren't here yesterday for it, but in the previous stream, um, no, let me just look quick. My mind will go somewhere else if I don't do this now. In the previous stream, we got this guy here. Don't know how to say his name, but this guy has like when he does his like. No. What is it? This ability, it like has like a little thing every single time you hit, and then it like turns into a baseball. <laughs> Funny. So how have you been? Um, how are you? Yes. Oh wait, is it that annoying guy? That guy up there. Good. Yes, this person did. Oh, uh, awesome. Ooh. So, um, uh, I don't like these things. <laughs> yeah, well, I can't, it's not really listening to stuff when there's no dialogue. But quite recently, with my streams, uh, how I ate sheep, I have been incredibly yeah. late. Like the last stream, I was a whole hour late. Yes? Yeah. That's fine, let's see. Yep. My, my brain's already hurting, I've taken so much notes.
Okay. Now I have a traveling pyramid. Eight. Forgot how hard coding was, especially over the break of school. Literally, first day back, so uh, about I've done 500 lines of code so far. Oh. So this first one's yeah. I'm gonna bring this video. Wait, what day is this? I can't believe I got assigned this task. Well. Um. Also, we fought this guy earlier. This is the guy that gives the leads. Which I actually am going to go back and try and do again, because I need better, like, um, it's one of the items for my, um, for my, for this girl. It's either a better, a feather, goblet, or, no, that one's actually kind of good. Or, like, better, something. If All you I are need presently is help. unoccupied, perhaps yeah, skyward. Hmm. Although, um, if you have missed anything, you can get caught up with uh, my videos and stuff on YouTube. Although, I know you might not want to watch them. It's like better to watch a stream because you can interact with the. Um, The, um, not the person, but watching it like different. Whoa, whoa, already right off the bat. Okay, explosion, move back, move back. Attack, 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 attack. Vaporize. Ouch. In. Shoot, shoot, shoot. Strong. 
Dodge that. Person. Me not knowing what the heck this is. Holy! 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 I didn't die from that. Good. Now this thing's happening. Huh. Look, my Eight fingers are getting... Doesn't close battle, doesn't close battle. I think I'm far enough away. Doing well. Okay, well, um, um, um. Our bond is strong. I'm in range. I'm in range of dying. Yeah, I knew it. Why is there healing? I don't need the healing to happen. Ah, 
That's a bit. That's a bit annoying. That's a bit, 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 a bit, bit. Absolutely kidding. Is that sign just in the gate that shield real quick? Like a little bit of damage we need it. Now you bro. Bro. Should I join? No, 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 no. I'm completely fine. I've completed this guy once. And that's a bit annoying. I got it. That's okay though, that's okay. Good luck, yeah. You definitely need it, especially because wait a minute. Wait a minute, this guy's health is regenerating this time. Uh why didn't it get good again? Stand with me! Found them. Our bond is strong. Okay, time, time, ah, yeah, yeah. It's Wednesday, right? It's a Wednesday. It is. Why can't it be Friday? 
This needs to be Friday and then I'm able to play a lot longer. I also have to know. No, I have. Oh my. What? Peace prevails throughout the land, I and all things are made tomorrow. new as buds in the spring. This is an auspicious era what? for humanity. Uh. Uh, okay. Just four tests. Not that much. Let's see. What is the person Ayaka told us about? Why are you doing this? Why leave all of a sudden after all these years? Precisely. It's much too sudden. We've had no time to prepare. The children are desperate for you to take them out to play. Please, we urge you to reconsider. That must be the guy I've I seen that like old about. guy like Who's a hundred thousand me? times. <laughs> like I swear, this old guy and that old girl are like the default old woman and. Hold up. They can't do Madam Ping like that. Hold up. Yeah. Scatter. Hold the heck up. First off, my first is second off. Celestia. Good, they didn't. The secret. <laughs> Yeah, I mean, just check this out. Oh. Yes. Hmm. They kind of did, they just... Uh... Did I just talk to you instead? Nope. Wait, I just talked to that guy. If you want my opinion, something to do with the Vision Hunt Decree. It's clear that Tejima had done nothing wrong, and still they confiscated his vision. After that, he became a completely different person. I can't claim to fully understand it, but I could tell that he'd lost something very important to him. He went off on a walk, alone, circled the village a few times, and then, out of the blue, he announced that he was going to leave and become a wanderer. Truth be told, we aren't sure whether trying to keep him here is the right thing to do. But equally, it doesn't feel right to let him leave when he's in this state. He's a lost soul. Seems like he's a well-respected guy around here. But the wind of the Did I just did I just hit that kid? <laughs> no, it's not funny. It's not funny. Ah, uh, you must also be here to try and convince Tejima to stay. Tejima has protected this place ever since he arrived here 30 years ago. Keeping out the treasure hoarders, fending off any monsters that draw near, resolving quarrels between the villagers. 
He has put an enormous amount of work into looking after this place, and we all think the world of him. But now, all of a sudden, he says he plans to leave us. We can't help but wonder, was it something we did? We will gladly apologize if that's the case. All we want is for him to stay. Now I talk to him. You must be Tejima. So what's made you want to up and leave all of a sudden? Me? I... It's not a question of why I want to leave, but a question of what reason I would have to stay. True, but that's not why I chose to stay here. And what made me want to come here 30 years ago? And why have I never wanted to leave in all that time? I don't have answers to those questions because I can't remember anymore. Ever since they took my vision away, it's like a slice of my memory is gone. In the past, I knew I wanted to stay here. But whatever resolve I had then, it's gone now. So I thought, what's to stop me from moving around instead? The emptiness inside me will be there either way. Okay. Well, in that case, if we help you rediscover the reason you chose to stay, you won't need to leave anymore, right? Hmm. But if you can't remember anything, it's not gonna be easy. Oh! Maybe if you just try a little harder to remember, then it'll all come flooding back? Oh, that reminds me. Last time I brought Tejima some fruit, I do believe I saw him writing in a diary. Mm, I keep a diary? If you say so. I honestly can't seem to remember. Oh, yes! Yes, you do! And what's more, I remember you saying at the time that you wanted to make a note of a few interesting things. Things which would prove very important at a later date. Perfect! So if we want to keep Tejima from leaving, we just need to find his diary. It must be around here somewhere. Let's take a look. If you don't mind, we will leave you to find the diary. We should head back to the village to inform the others of Tejima's situation. Okay. Log. This looks like Tejima's diary, all right. Let's see what we have here. Today, the villagers and I got together to cook dried braised salted fish. I messed up and burned mine a little, so I had to pretend that it was Black Snake Head instead. Today, I helped rescue a kid who had fallen in the water. After I pulled him out, he told me that his best friend Bamboo was still in the water. I searched the water the whole afternoon before finding out that Bamboo was the name of his pet crab. I went kite flying today. The string broke, so I chased after it as fast as I could. I soon realized I was never going to get it back. So I just found somewhere to sit and watch as it flew away into the distance. Hmm. Seems like your average diary of daily village life. Huh? Okay. Wait! There's more! I went to pray at the shrine again today and stayed there a while. The omamori you gave me has faded a little, but it is still my most treasured possession. Now that's the kind of info we're looking for. Time to pay a visit to the shrine. So this is the omamori Tejima wrote about. Hmm, interesting. Looking at the color and the design, Paimon would have thought it belonged to a child. But anyway, if he had this with him all the time, there's a chance some of his elemental energy remained on it. Do you think that it might come in handy? It might so. Yeah. Uh, 
am I climbing? Let's see. Him. Here we are. This seems to be somewhere that Tejima visited a lot. The soil looks like it's been disturbed. Maybe Tejima buried something precious here. Something that kept him in the village all these years? Must be something pretty amazing if it made him stick around for 30 years. Let's dig it up and take a look. Is it a grave? Oh, it looks like a letter. The paper's gone yellow. Must have been written a really long time ago. Konda Village. Yeah. Sounds so familiar. Where is that place again? There were views. Huh. So the reason Tejima came here was to wait for someone. But he's been here for 30 years. Oh, guess they didn't show up in the end. Well, let's go give Tejima his stuff back and take it from there. Okay. I don't know if they can move their dads. You know? Well, I'll be. That's certainly my handwriting. And I guess the Omamorian letter belonged to me, too. <laughs> But I have no memory of anything that's written in this diary. Still, it's clear that I was waiting for someone here, and that I chose to wait for 30 years. Over the years, I must have made a note of anything interesting. Anything that I could share with her when we were finally reunited. <sighs> and just look at all the things that did happen over the years. The time has flown by so quickly. Thirty years feels like the blink of an eye. Yes. How could I have forgotten something so important to me? Mm. Mm. Now that I think about it, when my vision was taken from me, it felt like I'd suddenly been... hollowed out. Love, regret, everything I felt for her, it's all disappeared. No, not especially. After all, I've forgotten who she was. Her face, her voice, the things we experienced together. I barely recall any of it. Really sad myself. It's as if she'd never been in my life to begin with. As if all these years have been nothing but a hazy dream. I think... maybe not. If this is something I waited most of my life for, I suppose I should carry on waiting. Although... what if she were to turn up eventually, only to find I didn't remember so much as her name? Wouldn't that be upsetting for her? When I think about it like that, I do feel a slight tinge of sadness in my heart. How curious. Why am I thinking like this when I don't even remember who she is? It's just like that feeling of emptiness. The feeling that something is... missing. <sighs> Thank you both for helping me reconnect with my reason for staying here. No worries. No worries. I shall remain here and keep waiting for her. Tejima seems to be dealing... okay. But still, it makes Paimon really sad. Seems it's just like Ayaka and Toma were saying. If you lose your vision, you lose all your hopes and dreams too. That certainly explains the state Tejima was in earlier. At least we were able to help him, weren't we? <sighs> well, let's go find the next person. In the next episode slash stream. According to Miss Kamisato, the second um, one who lost their vision is a samurai from the Tenryo Commission. Yeah. Okay. Um. This actually should be the. What was staring down. Uh. Pretty ominous, eh? So. Um. For the people on Twitch, thank you so much for watching, and if you did join um, earlier, like not that long ago, or just join, I am very sorry, but if you do join tomorrow, I know some people might not be able to,
But if you do join tomorrow, I'll be glad to stream for all of you. And the people on YouTube, I'd be glad to stream for all of you too. And I hope to see you all here tomorrow. And yeah. Um, so for the people on YouTube, thank you so much for watching to the end. Um, I hope you keep on watching my channel. So yeah. Also, on the right here shall be my latest video, on the left here shall be my first video of this series, and the center here shall be a subscribe button icon. Um, if you like more videos like this one, please consider subscribing and leaving a like. If you want to see, if you want to get notified for all my future posts, click that bell notification as well. Bye-bye.